everyone welcome to linda tina tv if you're not new to my channel you've probably already noticed something different around here maybe <laughs> so as the title suggests today i'm going to be telling you about my hair loss story and how i ended up with this haircut so if you're interested in that kind of thing you better keep watching so i've never really had very beautiful hair but it was okay it was all right up until i had my first child now when i was pregnant with my son my hair grew thicker longer and healthier it was so beautiful i was like whoa i need to be pregnant so many times just so i can have the good hair and um after my baby i uh, i treated my hair and then i put a weave on so um eight months post baby is when i started to see my hair break and when I tell you break, I mean break. So I would comb my hair and chunks would come out, like chunks of hair would stay in the comb. I would wash it and I would see the hair like seriously shredding onto my body. It was terrible. I actually got so scared, I thought I was sick or something. So my hair broke and there was a big chunk, like a big chunk that fell off the back here. I had no hair at the back. I had no hairline. So in the beginning, I did not understand it was um, post-baby shredding. Since I had put treatment in my hair, I had pumped it and then I had also put a weave on um, right after I had um, pumped my hair. I thought maybe it was the weave on. I actually blamed the hairdresser who put that weave on because I thought maybe she had pulled too hard. Maybe she had, I don't know, maybe she used a technique that wasn't so good for my hair because my hair broke like right around here and then the chunks all over the place. So um, with this hair loss, I decided to cut off my hair. That was eight months post baby. So I didn't cut it that short, but I cut it to a level where, you know, it was a bit even. Fast forward, the hair grew and then, you know, I didn't see any shredding after a year or a year and a half, everything went back to normal. Then I get pregnant with my second child, my daughter. Now with my daughter, the hair didn't grow so much when I was pregnant. Like I didn't see that healthy, bouncy hair that I had with my first son. But after about, um, now it's been, um, my daughter is one and a half years. So it's been, yeah, one and a half years. But I started to see the hair breaking um, one year ago when my daughter was seven months. I was actually in, um, in Uganda, in Africa for my Christmas holidays. So what happened is, as usual, I have weave-ons all the time. That's why um, I'm not sure if I can blame this totally on, uh, on uh, childbirth. I'll get into that later. So um, after seven months, I put my weave on and then I removed the weave. It always happens when I remove the weave. That's why it's a bit confusing to, to be sure that it's really um, childbirth, but it's also the effect of the weaves. Anyway, so I removed the weave with the, when my baby was seven months, about seven, yeah, seven months. And I'm telling you guys, I had no hair till here. Here, there is a picture. I actually cried in the salon when I saw my hair looking like this. When I removed my weave and I saw I was bold. It was it was it was it was a very very emotional moment for me. So with with my daughter now, what happened wasn't like with my son. With my son, chunks were coming out from different parts, and then also the hairline. But with my daughter, it was just here. Like the hair broke all the way to the back. So um, I wanted to braid it, but um, 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 the, the the lady who usually braids my hair back home said, you know what? I wouldn't advise you to braid this hair. It is totally dead. Like this hair is gone. It's totally gone. Can you imagine someone telling you your hair is totally gone? <laughs> it was terrible. So what I did is I cut my hair yet again. I had um, my hair cut completely into a uh, pixie so I kept a pixie just you know to disguise a little bit you know I didn't I didn't want to cut off my hair I've struggled so much to grow my hair because my hair doesn't grow that fast or it doesn't grow at all so every time I have to cut my hair I really feel bad I won't come here and lie to you that I'm one of those people who's like oh let me go and do the big chop and then no 
the, all the times I've cut my hair it's because it's either really 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 in a bad state or I'm losing my hairline or it's just like I really have to so like I told you guys I'm not really sure if this was just the the, the, the post baby um, shedding off I, I really don't know for a fact because each time this happens I have had a weave on and then when I remove the weave on I realize that my edges are like gone totally gone but then if it's just the weave then it wouldn't be breaking in the middle right so it's a mix of both but post baby shedding of hair is like so real I have suffered it and I've seen people suffer it but I didn't know how serious it would be so I think after you've had a baby you need to take better care of your hair which is what I did not do so anyway this chop right now it's been one and a half years since I had my daughter I've been wearing my weave ones, which is what I have on most of the time. And then uh, three weeks ago, maybe, I removed my weave on. And again, I had no ages, like seriously. And I thought to myself, this can't be happening again. Like one year ago, I had to cut my hair because everything was like gone. And then now it's been a year and you know, my hair is growing really slowly, but it's grown to, you know, a decent length. And then my ages are gone again i could still weave but then i thought to myself you know what let me do this one last time maybe and see what what happens and so i got this haircut now getting this haircut i'll tell you something i live in italy milan where for some reason long hair is the standard of beauty i made a video about standards of beauty italy uh, europe versus uganda africa it's crazy how different um, you know beauty is seen by different people around the world anyway so every time i cut my hair people tell me oh why did you cut your hair you look so much better with the longer hair and i i feel i mean i'm only human so i feel kind of out of place most times when i cut my hair but this time because i've also grown to love myself so much i'm like you know what you don't like my hair that is your problem i think i look cute a little bit cute maybe <laughs> you guys should tell me what you think of this haircut and i think i look okay but i feel so good guys i will tell you i am not regretting cutting off my hair at all i am not promising that i will not weave again or braid or do all those other hairstyles i will that's why i always leave it as a length which you know is plateable but um, I feel so good. I go to the bathroom and wash my hair every single day, feeling that fresh water coming through my hair, my scalp. My husband likes it because at least he can finally touch my scalp. <laughs> but then he doesn't like the short hair so much. This is the feeling I get. But every hair do I, I, I put on, every hairstyle I have on, he'll say, oh, you look so beautiful. I'm not sure. And then after when he gets used to it, he's like, I think I like this one better than the other one. And then when I put a new one, he'll say, well, I think this one is better than the other one, but maybe the other one, he doesn't know. So I told him, you know what? I'm not going to even ask you about my hair anymore because you don't really know what you like. I would like to look beautiful for you, you know, but if you don't know what you like, I'm gonna look beautiful for me, you know? <laughs> and um, basically, guys, that's my hair story. I lost my hair, I've lost my hair three times now. I'll say two times, the two times I've had the baby, but this time it's happened twice. And honestly, I want to blame this last hair loss on the weaves. Guys, we love the weave ones, but I must say they have a lot of damage they do to our hair, especially the front hair, because I usually put a closure and then I'll have, um, of course, the cornrows. But then I guess the tension from pulling it backwards or from, because I hold my hair a lot as well, I don't know but every time I have the weave ones I realize my ages are gone and um, I don't like it so I'm going to keep this haircut for a while I can't promise how long you know every time I cut my hair I'm like I'm going to go natural I'm going to you know I'm going to have this look for a very long time and then after like a week or a month in I go and put back my weave ones so I don't know how long I'm going to have it I can't promise I try to do um, the tiny dreads you know that look with the dreads guys it was a fail i looked i don't know i looked weird i think i like it like this so with this um i just wake up in the morning i wash it every single day even if i've been told that's not very good i'm going to be you know researching more about natural hair 
but um, I wash it every day and then I'll oil it with olive oil and then I'll just uh, sit back and relax. Sometimes I'll comb it, sometimes I won't. Like right now, I didn't comb it. I just washed it, I put olive oil and then I just rub my hands through it and voila, like how easy is that? So I'm loving it so far. I love how fresh I feel. I love that I don't have to do so much. But it's not that manageable because my hair is really hard it's really nappy so combing it is a bit of a problem if i haven't um if i don't wet it first but so far so good guys that's my hair loss story if you've had hair loss after babies or because of wee ones or any other reasons someone explain to me what happened because i'm still not sure that it's just the the, the post baby shedding something happened with my hair two times that my hair just started falling off and then my ages I'm just trying to get them back but they were all gone as well I know the weaves play a role but maybe there's something out there that I'm doing wrong or something you can advise me to do to get my edges back and to get my hair healthy again I'll appreciate that just leave everything down in the comment section and um, I'll be updating you about my hair maybe in a month or something just to let you know how i'm carrying on if you see me here with a weave on or if you see me here with braids or i don't know something different please don't judge me i'm not so so used to this hair so i don't know how long i'll have it but so far i like it and let me know what you think of my new look don't try to be nice if you don't like it you can tell me not that i'll change it but you can tell me i just want to know what people think of you know the new look and um if you're new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe and if you're not new to my channel keep watching check out the videos you haven't yet watched and have a very 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 nice week ahead love you bye bye Mwah.